Top five reasons that he's going to break up with you this holiday season, y'all. Uh, December 11th, ladies, honestly, uh, doing my research and looking into things. Unfortunately, men are are guilty probably the most of breaking up with a significant other prior to the holiday season. That's the after Halloween through Thanksgiving to uh, Christmas, uh, New Year's, and all the way up into Valentine's Day. And so the top five reasons that uh, if you got let go, from your uh, relationship job, December 11th. Top five reasons that that could happen. Uh, and they are there, Mike, when you when you pop up. So uh, number one reason, he's been already putting it off. Like mm-hmm. we said before, this was not a new thing. This was not something that that just, just came out of nowhere. This is not something that just like, hey, I just want to break up with you. It's the writing was on the wall. Uh, he had some time to reflect over the holiday season. Uh, you might not have met, you might not have hit some markers. There might, have, whatever it may be, uh, he was already planning this, and he might have been just a procrastinator. And, and the holiday season kind of pushed him over. What y'all think? Yeah, I can, I can see that happening. And also, I still feel the holiday season being a way to uh, save a little bit of extra. Still, like I was saying, you still we'll go there. We'll there. Yep. Save a little bit of extra cash. And not only can you see it happening, we literally just joked about it a second ago. If you using the tree as the out, you had this plan already, and you just waited for a big day to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, you just made that reference, like yeah. just Steve, talk Steve, Steve, oh, talk yeah. Steve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Steve. They say. <laughs> they say the the last quarter of the year is like a time of reflection, like you're looking back on your year, and you're looking at your girl like you raggedy bitch. You raggedy bitch. How many times I had to ask you to cook dinner? You oh raggedy, shit! You raggedy I think that bitch. might be what it you is. Too, <laughs> like dishes just sitting there piling. The kid been had a snotty nose since fucking April. Like you ain't doing shit, you raggedy bitch. <laughs> Raggedy you bitch. ain't you wow. ain't wipe with no you ain't wipe with nose or Man nose. you ain't you ain't you ain't Clorox shit ain't since shit you, you know this the COVID area and mm-hmm. hey, hey, you raggedy bitch like <laughs> wow Rag- raggedy bitch is right up there with funky dog head bitch them, <laughs> them, them two right there is the left Whoa. hand right hand haymakers what did Danny Glover say on color purple you're black you're ugly and my house ain't been clean since my first goddamn wife I didn't enjoy that. I yeah, did not that, enjoy that. Bothered that. Me a little bit. Well, I think you did a little too much. Yeah, I don't sorry. know. You might want to. Sorry. I didn't say the, really back that. Really like John did the best. Was Steve. First of all, you love Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, Rick, I, 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 I know, but like Claude, dude. For real. No, no, I, no, I really like Whoopi, too. I think he's beautiful. Oh, look, look. I'll bust Whoopi ass if I could. Bro. Whoopi is a beauty, and people. it's so funny what people think is beautiful in this world. But anyhow, I won't, that'll be another episode. All right, yeah, we could, we yeah. could, we could, let's let's glorify right. Whoopi another time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> number four reason why he uh, probably let you go from your relationship job come here December 11th is that he doesn't want you to meet his parents. Dang. Doesn't well, want you to meet the like folks. A, that sounds like more new relationship. Uh, no. I think a lot of these is new no. shits. No. Because if you're with someone for three and they meet your parents, it's kind of like crazy. Like, Wait, why am I hold, with you if I don't want you to meet up. my parents? That That's not, that's, all right. So th- just for me personally, yeah, yeah. Renee didn't meet my mother until we were engaged to be married. Mm-hmm. And that was <laughs> year and a half. The fuck was that? That's me thinking. That's my thinking pop. <laughs> don't that's get an idea I, popping don't, in don't, my brain, don't, okay? Don't, don't get it's a the idea head. bubble popping. <laughs> um, yeah, so about a year and a half, we, uh, maybe... <laughs> Almost two years. You remember Carlton? Shut up. Uh, you remember Carlton from Fresh Prince? What? Do you remember Carlton from Fresh Prince? Yes. He's a nice looking guy. He's very fresh. He was fly. He's short though. But he always used to say shit that make everybody look at him like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing? That? Why do you have a?" I'm um, the Carlton of the group. Would that make you Will and Steve Jazz? Remember, remember, mm-hmm. old boy from uh, Girlfriends, the friend. The... Oh, don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> what? What have I done? Don't you dare. Have I stumbled into Reggie, something Reggie is dope, though. Reggie, Reggie's a good man. It's crazy you know his name. <laughs> yes, Reggie. Reggie is the best. It's like Reggie Higgins or Reggie character. Hayes or something like that. Reggie, Reggie something. It's not a character. The actor's name is like Reggie something. Anyhow, moving on. Uh, no, no, we're not moving on. Um, yeah, stay here. Let me experience. Yes, you said over here. I, I personally feel, for me, I know it's for you, there's not a one size fits all. That's not how it rocks. If I'm been if I've been seriously dating you and we're that year two and three and you still haven't met my parents, like it's kinda like, why not do the and if we live in the same city, like it's almost like how haven't you? Like did I not even tell my parents even? Think about it. Think about it this way. How many Christmases did you make before you got engaged? Huh? How many Christmases passed before you got engaged? 
if you don't mind me, if can I ask that on air? I don't uh, yeah, you can ask that question. I don't care. Uh, so we w- we would have gotten together in January, and we got engaged in March. Uh, fourteen. So a year. Uh, so it would have been one. So one? you missed one Christmas. One. Yeah, one Christmas. So you didn't tell. Your we mom? didn't spend, but that wasn't Christmas that we spent together or anything. Oh, okay, so the gap between what you're saying and what Steve is saying is, it's possible to make it to an engagement or to something serious before. I don't know. I meet women. I introduce them to my mother. But think about it. Think about it this way: if uh, if, if a lot of serious ones, <clears throat> think about it, if a lot of those relationships are ending around the holiday season, say they're ending around January, right? You that's a whole twelve months before you really kind of get into the 10, 11 or 10, 12 months. Before so you're you saying get there's like an the... intro year where this could happen, and there's a gap between because I like like to me by the time we make it, you said January to Christmas. We're twelve months in. My, well, my mom met me and Michelle. We was out at the. Uh, Gasparilla parade, but she would have met her prior to that. Yeah, because by then we serious and we're we're p- plus whatever six, <clears throat> seven, eight, ten dates. Also depends on what you're defining as new too. Like, what's a new relationship? A couple months, a couple weeks. We're not talking about dating. We're talking about serious relationships. A year is still new. I get that. If I don't love you, you're not meeting my mom's. Me personally, if I don't love you, I'm not. You're not meeting my mom's. Ooh. I gotta I'm, love you first. I'm not quite as stringent as that because my mom don't need to meet all my uh all my <laughs> all your yeah, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> like same thing with my son, etc. Like nah, none of that shit. shit that one on the list, but he may not love you. <laughs> that, I like that. that I mean, that I actually like might that. be a, that might be the the, the actual reason for this. The reason for it. he doesn't want you to meet his parents because he may he don't love you. Yeah, that's oh, some, that was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, uh, yeah, that's, that's what, what I we just said. About. Right, because number three was he number three was he doesn't want you to meet his friends. That's, that's not how is that possible? You can you you cannot bring Jones around. Yeah, you, you cannot bring. Can not. But if you're a, what what? Let's set a time limit to have this combo. We're talking less than a year, more than six months. I would say that if you've been together for at least if you've been together a year and you haven't met their friends, you're not in a relationship with this person. You're a side chick. I fully agree. Or a side dude. <laughs> you know, or a side dude. Yeah, I fully agree. That's not that's not possible. It's really not. I do too much fun shit for you and them to be separate. We got to yeah. do these shits together. Michelle met you off the rip, but we was out when, I, when when we met mine. Also, okay, I was on that board and I started thinking. Sometimes you do kick it with people and y'all create your own friends when y'all on out, or maybe you deal more with her friends. Like I feel you. I, I understand. I feel you there. I think my line of distinction is never having never like this, bro. You ain't been in dating situationships for a year and I have never met the person like haven't but, met but, them we ain't stumbled across each other nothing but also too there's there's there, my relationship, there's nah. your friends yeah. and then there's your like your close friends so there's like your friends that you see every day and then they, like when you go home for the holidays it could potentially be like everybody like people that you grew up with like cousins and like other other friends and things too and I'm throwing family back in there too but like, like back home type shit. back home it could be but maybe they don't want you to meet the the people who are who have intimate knowledge of you See, now I got to start asking questions. <laughs> What's your question? My, my question is about the person. Like, who am I dating? Because I don't, I don't want a made-up character. I don't want a rebrand or, or nothing like that. I want to holla at who I holla at. Like, if you go back to my old everywhere, 20 years, 10 years, Jerry, what, 30 years, my brother, my family, it's been the same mic the whole time. Like, I, obviously, I've elevated and, and improved in a lot of ways. Yeah, but base, I'm the, mainly weight. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely yeah. elevated my elevated weight. Elevated my weight. I definitely me elevated too. my weight. Me too. Uh, That's not a joke. But but the point is, you could you could check my history. Yeah. I'm from Tampa. I'm from West Tampa. You can go ask about me. I never did no fuck shit. You never. I never stole nothing from nobody. I never did no crazy shit. I never jokes nobody. It's probably one person who might disagree, but it it's just one of those things where, like, when I went back to Houston to to meet to meet my girl and her friends, or when we went to Boston to meet her college friends. I'm very aware of what's happening here. Who do you hang with? What are the feathers you flock with? Right. And also, what's the stories? I, I was out in my long uh, Stephen A. rant here. I saw a meme today that said, if um, if you really want to get serious with somebody and you're about to start getting serious, take them out to the to the spot, they, like to their club, to their bar, see how many people they hug and determine if you want to get Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I, like that And if me, she hugs the bar, it, like... That? It was it, a meme. It was like a, it was like if she, hug, if she hugs the bartender first, like or no 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 the bouncer, the bouncer. first, dropper or some know, shit yeah. like that. If she yeah. know too many people, but it's that kind of idea where can I can we be at where you from and and people not look at me sideways like oh you with her? I, I need that vetting, and I, I don't need the actual vetting of hey mom approving my girlfriend, but 
y'all i don't i'm saying y'all but y'all know me if you met me today and you met somebody who knew me 25 years ago you're gonna get the same type of guy I'm, uh, same moral same value same activity maybe a little more mature a little more smart and a lot more gray or as Claude said with, with a lot more weight but the fact is mike lake has been mike lake this whole time if that ain't the case i'm uncomfortable if i go back home to houston with, with michelle and i start getting vibes of oh she different now like oh you oh you want some other shit like you oh you super christian now because we remember we remember back in the day like that starts to make me ask questions of why one i don't know this information not saying i wouldn't accept her if that the inf- like let's say she was a hoe if that <laughs> if that bad info was out there did yo she, she was a hoe yeah let's just say let's just say that's what i was talking about if she if we talked about it and she told me i used to have a pass i got a little pass on me <laughs> or whatever happens to that convo that's different but if i don't know you hit it from me and i find out i'm cool man I'm, if she said if she hit you with it i got a little pass on me please I, don't pass homie please. yeah and then y'all she's trying to rap her on. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah she she, she, she starts swagging and everything too <laughs> A mic up here, like I, I clap, but that be it. Yeah, I ain't going to Christmas. Okay, uh, you want to? I, I know y'all yeah. didn't say this, but you want to? You want to check that you go back, like you go to the spot and everybody at the bar, like she know all the bounces, employees, and everybody, and she never worked there. No, nah, I mean, like, no, is that what I want? But then again, just because she, that's the case, she could just be popular. I mean, she was smashing people. She She's just popular. She just was lit. But what if the girl you she met know the was bartender just... is the bouncer the, 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 the bouncers is kind of the line. Like if you hugging the bouncer, like come on, like the, be the sober niggas. The bouncer, scheming. right? Well, I was thinking too. It's like, also, did we? Did, is this how I met you? Like, what if you met this like kindergarten teacher, sheepish, like bookworm nerd who used to be a stripper? Like you, I got questions. I just got questions. Where is this bookworm, sheepish kindergarten teacher that used to be a stripper? Calm down. Does that exist? Is that, <laughs> that, that's like a, that's a thing. You ended up on the spot. I don't like the look in your face. I'm thinking sideways about my my daughter's teachers now. Um, <laughs> sideways. Anyhow, sideways. I said exactly what I said. Sideways. Um, <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, we said <laughs> top five reasons he broke up with you this this December 11th. Uh, you you find yourself single and lonely. This might be the reason that he let you go. Uh, he's been putting it off. He doesn't want you to meet his parents or his friends. He doesn't want to get you a gift. And as like Steve said earlier, some niggas just financially challenged. Financially, it's not working out. It's not in the budget. Yeah, might rather just not break that piggy bank. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, that piggy bank been good to him that year. It's not a, uh, it's not the time to uh, to, to crack the, the the pig's back. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, not on you. You're not worth these coins. All these coins I done saved both these years. You know what I'm saying? I saved up two hundred thirteen dollars and seventy five cents. <laughs> You're not finna get nan penny of that shit. You know what what is that specific about that you just? I don't know. Maybe a nigga. It's I'm sure it resonated with somebody. That's about his piggy bank. I'm sure somebody it, was like, oh shit. They it, they, it act, yeah. with, Steve, they counting. <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody re- it resonated with someone. But now, nah, um, yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing. That that's probably the biggest one. Like, in hey, it is what it is. That's I'll, a trash reason to break up with someone. People be it's a lot of trash. <laughs> no, it's reasons. not if you broke, you can't afford it. Bro, just be broke and keep it a buck. Nigga, what that's happens when you can't can. afford your car? What happened? They repossess it. Yeah. So when you can't afford your girlfriend, she let repossess herself. Let, let her repossess. No, you. Yes, there this you go. Gaslighting of the highest degree. <laughs> you blaming it on her? I'm not blaming it on her. I can't afford her, so it's. I'm not blaming it on her. I, it's just that, hey, I'm losing out too. If you're letting her go, you're also losing out. You can't afford her. Like you, like you probably get repossessed. She's got to go back to the bank. She got to go back to the bank of life. <laughs> <laughs> right? I was just saying, she got to go back to the bank of life. It just happens. <laughs> it happens. Uh, uh, I'm going to just be broke. You know what? I ain't got it. I ain't got it. And, I, and like every other broke nigga in history, I just supply good dick and keep it moving. You can live she, off the can she get that receipt, please? Got a oh, I sling little D like nothing else. You guys sling a little dick just a little just enough to get make it through these holidays with no money you got a holiday dick <laughs> this man running with a holiday dick. dick the hd not nothing would do no not high definition <laughs> and the hd only <laughs> high def- it, only, HD. it only worked from the 20th to the holiday dick. Dick is an hd that's a holiday dick you running with salute, HD. salute oh. to all the hd niggas the holiday dick niggas God. the ones you gotta just sling just enough to get through the holiday you, you know got, what i'm saying you ain't some up, holiday you dick keep, the holiday dick keep you warm through the seasons you know what i'm saying it's a season that Talk keeps that shit, Steve. it's a season that keep giving you know what i'm saying not every not every nigga got nothing like Claude, cars are getting repoed these days. It's hard. It's COVID season. People ain't got no place to stay. You better you better invest in some HD. 
Yeah, HD better be on point. Yeah. HD go. does not stand for high definition <laughs> unless it's high definition and holiday dick. You better deliver that holiday dick. Talk to shit, bro. That's that's a DHD actually. Talk to him. It's a deliver holiday dick. It keeps you warm because you know what I'm saying. It keeps you in a nice warm spot. You know what I'm saying? Ten, not, ten, talking about that 1080p, that 1080 penis. So you took it. <laughs> <laughs> you took, you took it too 1080 1080i 1080i no bro you gotta deliver the holiday so, uh, away from the jokes and re- even though it's still is funny you sometimes gotta deliver the the um the hd the holiday dick the holiday dick keeps you in places that you may not be able to be kept in if you wasn't delivering properly absolute fact you gotta step up your dick game a little bit more during the holidays if you can't if you ain't got it financially you gotta step up your dick game and those who breaking up we know we know you you lack it yeah so i stay in it I, see what I did there? She, she she might she might she might she might forgive you if you if you're delivering a dick. Oh, that's, yeah. that's okay. You didn't give me a gift. You yeah. gave me mad gifts. Yeah, you just put a bow on your dick. No, I just I'm talking about orgasms. I don't know right, you're anyhow, uh, <laughs> last one. Uh, top five reasons broke up with you this holiday season. We said he's been putting it off. He doesn't want to meet. He wants to meet his parents or his family. And he doesn't want you to get a gift. Last one that I have down here is he wants a new year with a new girl. New year, new me. No, Might no, as well have no somebody year, else new girl. Who this? You know, new phone. Who this? Well, like, first of all, if this year's my year, because every year is everybody's year, then you can't be there with me. I'm leveling up. It's 2022 now. You're 2021. <laughs> first of all, don't they buy new car models? The new models are in. Come today for the new models. They out in the streets for New Year's Eve. You can get the new models before the new year. They out in the streets for New Year's Eve. Sound like a summer jam, or, or just traded it, or it's or a car show. Like that's how you sound <laughs> like, like hey, that's like it's not like hard rock cocks coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's your car look for you new hard rock porn? cocks. <laughs> <laughs> you watching white porn? What are you doing? <laughs> no, you guys, hey, a new girl, not for real. Sometimes you gotta come deliver. Like you gotta go to like a little show like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, definitely, definitely, you definitely got to go somewhere where they're like new models out now. Oh, you thought I was better? <laughs> <laughs> Please, man, get like, your I, brand new dick. He thought that would work. A, this is why you can't get a body, but I like maybe that's why you injured the Ain't nothing cool. wrong. Ain't nothing, well, I don't know. If, I'm not gonna say nothing wrong, but I could understand why a person. A man, which are my men, why they might want to enter a year with a new female. You know what I'm saying? People upgrade their cars all the time. Leases only run a year at a time anyway. Sometimes that lease is up. Sometimes you want to upgrade, like Mike said, upgrade a new model. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You want to put enough mileage has been ran on that vagina. You need to put, you need a new vagina. You know what I'm saying? Lower mileage. Lower mileage. The LX is up? Fresh off the lot. Fresh off the lot model. You know what I'm saying? The LX the, the you know hey, what I'm saying? They put they put the S on that iPhone. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? She right. got she, I need the S. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She got little, she got little, nice little plastic got pull back. She got a nice new um, I have no idea what's happening. Nice new bumper. I lost track of a little plastic. You gotta you, you never had a car you pull a little plastic off the I lost track of the metaphor. Anyhow. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? The new model might got a, you know what I'm saying? Come, it's new models. They got a new bumper, you know what I'm saying? The headlights are fresh, you know what I'm saying? Those looking nice and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, headlights, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nice headlights on the joint. You know what I'm saying? I don't like your tone of voice. I don't Headlights, that was a good metaphor. I like that. You not do that once you Headlights. You know what I'm saying? You saw my landing strip earlier. I was like, yeah. So you just upgrade a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You jump in the cabin of the whip. It's a little more snug than the last one you had. Like, oh, wow. Okay, this is new. I like this. Big room in your trunk. Or even that, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I can show this with North Got everyone, one see, in. everyone see like, oh, okay, I see on the block with something new. Oh, that's who is that? Oh shit, that's you, Claude, coming through with the Ooh. friend. Oh shit, oh he think he's something. He got a new, uh, he, he got, got a new, new drop. Cool. That type of vibe. His tag drop <laughs> tag say yo yo yo. No, no, if you gotta come through with the paper tag sometimes, that hard that 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 hard one sometimes is a little outdated. You know what I'm saying? Did you put the put, put the paper tag on the new? First drop. of all, the the old one is dusty. You know what I'm saying exactly. You, been, you need something clean with some plastic you, on it. You don't appreciate as much because clearly you ain't been taking it through the car wash. Damn. You taking that new one through the car wash. You keeping <laughs> that. You keeping that new one fresh and up to right. date. Right. Until you get used to it around right. December 11th. Well, <laughs> around December 11th, right? You know, that's your least time. Jumping a new model. December that might just what it is. Is the least time is December 11th, and you, you know, know what I'm saying jumping a new model for New Year's. You pop a new bottle. <laughs> so. <laughs> like really I it. did have a note. I did have a note, and then we said it earlier. Ultimately, if the, the guy is not taking you around, parents, family members, friends, 
been thinking about breaking out with you now uh, already throughout the year. Maybe he's procrastinating. Maybe just, just waiting for the right time. Maybe just easier to make an excuse about you wanting to put up decorations early type thing. Maybe he's not broke. He just don't want to get you a gift. At the end of the day, he may not love you. And you could potentially be a side chick. <laughs> <laughs> that could be very that really could be case. it you might not actually be in a relationship that that could be the sum up of the that could be the sum Hard up reality of so nobody got broken up with they just found out the actual rank <laughs> oh I'm, oh i'm the side chick it's uh, like when you playing two player mario and luigi and luigi dies Bloop. mario goes to the next level i could tell you was a little brother i could tell yeah, i had luigi a lot i did I, I, yeah. Well, I also could tell because they didn't go at the same time. <laughs> and when they told you that you had the remote and it was plugged in, it wasn't. And I know this. So when you use a nigga I that can only have uh, NES version of Mario 1, they didn't go at the same time. But they did definitely go at the same time in Mario 3. In Mario 3. Yes. The joint with the feather and the tail. Mm-hmm. They did. They did it? They did. It was Mario 2? It wasn't, it wasn't until... GameCube that they may have. I don't believe it. And that's what I'm talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I just realized while we was going through that, I'm the oldest, he's the middle, and you're the baby. I'm the youngest. That's crazy. And that's kind of the dynamic of the show if you really think about it. I don't want to delve into this because it's going to turn into me roasting you little ass niggas, but yeah, I guess. Okay. Big motherfucker call you a little ass nigga. I'm going to take it. (laughs) (laughs) 